Hello and welcome back to Gold Squadron Podcast live here at the Lone Star Open in Allen, Texas. I'm William Hegwood filling in for Dion uh, for the weekend. This is day one, round three, and we have two well-known podcasters uh, duking it out. X-Wing legends uh, here on the tabletop, seeing how that they've uh, seen how they play in person. We have the Choose Your Champion betting open. If you're watching live, go ahead and throw a bet one all or a bet two all uh, for whether you want D or Chris to win. If you're watching later on YouTube, go ahead and leave a comment down below. See if after the video you were right. Uh, tell us what you thought was going to win and if uh, it ended up going the way you thought. But let me go ahead and uh, before we get too far, go ahead and start breaking down these lists. Uh, D. Yoon here flying scum and villainy. Uh, this is a variation of the Hawk Bosk Fang. Uh, dropping that fang for a Tel Tavera, uh well-known uh, from Mar GSP's own Marcel, uh, flying it in a recent hyperspace event we held, which uh, includes Dace Bonearm, that's the Hawk, with Protectorate Gleb for coordinating thermal detonators, uh, multiple bomb drops, and the Moldy Crow for the three dice gun out the front and being able to hold on to those focus tokens are very important when you're giving your action away to coordinate. Now, Dace Bone Arm, oh, I'm going to be waiting for it all game. Because we got some medium bases out there. We could see a Dace trigger. I'm so excited. Uh, so, Dace says when any ship can take takes an ion at range three, you can spend all the charges. Uh, there's three, one recurring, so you get basically once every three rounds uh, to be able to give that ship uh, up to three ions then when it receives a single one that means that a single uh, ion can ionize these arcs and I'm uh, like I said so excited to see it out on the table it's like a unicorn now with Dace, uh, we have Tell, uh, built out a uh, very standard, except for one Woody Harrelson. Uh, that's the Tobias Beckett. Uh, the gas cloud was moved away from the middle of the boards, thrown over to the side where we see uh, the Ada flying right now, giving so much space here for these large base ships. The other upgrades, though, include false transponder codes for jams with locks. We got hull upgrade, uh, which interacts with Tell's ability. Uh, once Tell's defeated, or excuse me, destroyed, they come back with five damage on them, which would normally leave it at one health. And then the hull upgrade would actually allow them to come back with two health then. Uh, we have ion cannon, so you get a weapon out the front always. You get uh, the jump master's normal turret arc out the side. If you have locks, you can get proton torpedoes out the front. And then uh, cutthroat. Cutthroat's a new upgrade. Uh, when a named ship dies, it can get a charge back. Now, there's an option. There's a lot of options here. You get proton torpedoes, uh, false transponder codes, or if Tell is already zombified, dead, and come back, if you kill a different ship, you can actually get that Tell charge back to be able to zombie a second time. An absolute required build for lulls, uh, forcing your opponent to make these hard decisions. Uh, about killing Tell early. Tell also has this great ability to be able to, uh, what do I want to say, hold on to those points at the very end. Because uh, if it gets down to a moment in time where you can only, you only got like 10 minutes on the board, you only got so many shots, uh, and Tell's already halved, it can be very difficult to get those remaining points on Tell. Because if you do destroy her, or them, uh, I believe it's a, a female, but uh, then they just disappear and come back later. Very, very interesting. 
Uh, to, <laughs> to round out the uh, list, uh, we see Boss. We've seen a lot of Boss today. Uh, it's very popular in um, the meta right now. The combinations of Zam for free locks, Gamut Key to hold on to that reinforce or focus, uh, Greedo uh, for the free crits, and this boss has opted for Electronic Baffle, being able to take a damage to remove a red token, normally a stress, but could be an ion or uh, a lock even. Um, I've never seen it used that way, but I guess you could lock him with a friendly ship. Uh, tell her, um, well, probably not tell, like Dace, and then you can actually remove that lock uh, for damage. I'm like, well, why would you damage yourself to remove a friendly lock? Uh, that's because of Dead Man Switch. Uh, boss goes down range one of uh, the enemy ships, uh, actually any ship, they would receive then uh, damage. Uh, electronic Bountiful allows you to essentially choose when to do that in the in phase if necessary. Uh, so if uh, people want to say uh, leave you at one health, don't want to kill you off, you can actually trigger yourself. Super interesting. I've seen uh, Octacon uh, was utilizing it to great effect in his Boba Bosque builds. So, on to the other side. Chris Allen flying a Galactic Republic list. We have two uh, workhorse arcs. Those are the 104th Battalion pilots. Low, the lowest initiative, 42 points, 9 health, 3 dice at the front, 2 dice at the back. Just an absolute, like I said, workhorse ship for the Republic. In the top left corner. Um, it's D's condition card. I'll move it slightly. Uh, yeah. I'll take care of it, don't worry. Uh, anyways, so the arcs, super uh, affordable, um, very good for their points and durability. Uh, Warthog even extends that ability to where now uh, ships at range 2 of Warthog cannot be initiative killed. They stay until the end of the round. Uh, so that even if you kill the arcs, which is the biggest problem, is only that initiative 2. But if you kill them, Range to a Warthog, you can keep them around. Uh, it also keeps Warthog around any ship, like I said, at range 0 to 2. Uh, of course, the lat has Fire Convergence, so you can be able to double modify these uh, 104th Battalions as well. Uh, really, uh, like I said, showing the strength of those uh, chassis there. And then to round out the list, an Anakin Skywalker, but for going. A, a marksmanship R382 or a R7 droid to and uh, to put through the automatic crits. This one taking ion cannon. That's right, two ion cannons in this matchup. So, uh, gonna be very interesting. We have our betting here just finishing now. Oh no, it is. I'll open back up because I started it early. There you go. Bet's back live. Um, big beat here. Betting on the Bosk. We did see Bosk lose it last round um, when Paul Heber played Duncan Howard. So, uh, not not a guaranteed win uh, for him. Uh, but, you know, Bosk gets one agility ships. Normally is a bad time for those one agility ships. Uh, as a reminder, we got the stream goal. I'm going to move it down just just a little bit. Uh, that's plus 20. I accidentally reset it. Don't worry about that. Or not plus 20, excuse me, plus 40. So already on our way uh, to the next giveaways. We are giving out t-shirts every round. Thank you to our Grand Admiral patrons. Uh, we have, uh, I did promise at the end of round three, I have another uh, best car dice. Or it's not dice. A, I guess you could roll dice in them. A little bit small for that. A Beskar uh, damage deck holder. They're in their planning phase, so I could you know, switch over to those giveaways. We already got the hat given away. Oops. Ah. More orientation. Uh, these cool uh, things from Justin Foundry. Ken Cho just passed these off. Uh, cool looking uh, things. You put your cards in there. 
super awesome. Gonna give one of those away. We're gonna give a shirt away at the end of every round. If we get up to 100 or 60, um, actually I think 55 technically, uh, 55 subscribers, we will give start giving out mystery prizes. And if we get up to uh, 110, give out another mystery box. Uh, this is just collections of goodies from that. And then finally, uh, a mystery shift, which I'll explain more. Uh, but let's switch back over to the table here. No, I gave you five more minutes. No, 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 hold on. I was harassing the players about finishing the game um, because I gave them a small time extension uh, for messing around with the dice cam beforehand and then harassed them to just finish the game <laughs> before then. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, it seems D. June is preparing for his assault. Got bored of hugging the board edge for now. And has turned Bosk in. Leading with Bosk here, very smart. Uh, wants to get those free locks. Um, but unfortunately, he'll be shooting before these arcs and Warthog. So, will most likely have to be uh, coordinated those locks. Plus, also, you might need to reinforce them. I mean, they're packing a lot of punch here. Uh, when those arcs are coming in. Now, unfortunately... Oh, there, there's the arc rotation. I was going to say, might want to put the arc to the front if he's starting to joust. So, a little bit of tactical, uh, we'll call it play. <laughs> might be the opposite of playing the game, but uh, tactical play here from Chris being able to uh, keep, keep his ship self-bumping uh, for a while. Uh, then once the trajectory for the ships has been um, found out, he can move in to attack. Kelliana starting us off with a 17 sub uh, gift there. Thank you, Kelliana, uh, for joining us. We are uh, all the way down in Texas. So appreciate everybody jumping in here. Um, anybody that can, that uh, would be amazing to see them subs uh, get us to that sub goal. I want to give you guys these prizes. Uh, been, people have just been dropping some off for me. So we're going to sneak those into those mystery boxes. And uh, we will um, have a bunch of giveaways. I got these posters for Sunday. Very excited about. So back to you, the... Uh, game here uh, tell missed the lock after turning in here I remember the jump masters dial is uh, left heavy I would say it favors the left uh, with the hard two to the right and the hard one to the right both red they very much uh, want to turn that direction um, Bosk I believe kept his tokens with Gamut that's why he's uh, checking lock here wants the warthog for obvious reasons to stop that zombification um, but with the angle he's at they uh, might be obstructed so might have to go into the arcs instead tamper magnitude uh, getting their subscription with prime I'm going to put that Exclamation point prime in there. Thank you very much uh, If you have Amazon Prime check out Prime Gaming or Twitch Gaming with Amazon Prime to uh, Find out how you can get a free sub to Gold Squadron just by having the Amazon Prime take some of that Jeff Bezos space money And slide it our way. Why not? It's free. All right, we have uh, some 
<laughs> it's too many hands. We have a coordinate to tell. Uh, tell tried the lock, so would have been awesome to get that proton torpedo out on Anakin, who's saying nope. Oh, Mazer and I do see those arc alt arts. That was hard to say. Really had to pronounce it. Um, but it looks like we're going into combat here, so I'm going to be closing the bets. You got about five seconds uh, to f get your bets in. Three, two, one. All right. So let's check back in uh, and see how the shots are going. It looks like we'll have an ion cannon shot, but no. Buddy in arc, people in range, but no shot for Anakin. This is Tell going then. Tell for two. <laughs> Super natties. And now the, the dice cam is rough. It's fading in and out. Uh, bear with us on that, but eh, you can see the results better, so what can you do? Here's Bosk, uh, Focus, and Greedo. So I think they called it unobstructed into the lat. So two shields, one damage card face down, one damage card face up. One damage card face down, one damage card face up. Thank you. I'm sorry for screaming. I apologize. I forget I'm on mic all the time. <laughs> Oh, uh, so that was two and two and loose. I mean, he didn't really have a lot of places to go, but eventually he's going to run out of time out there. Oh, I better get to choose the champion out. We're done with that. There you go, one shield off of Bosk. Jeez, yo, champion is gone. One, sh one shield off of Bosk. All right, here's the, here's an arc coming in with fire convergence. Focus for a hit, hit, crit. Uh, that shield, shield, crit. Damage sensor array. Not a big deal for Bosk as he gets free locks. Um, and has a coordinator, to be honest with you, so not a big deal uh, if he only needs to take focus actions. We should, you should thank me um, to get some charges and free locks, just as I had talked about. Um, I think that should be the last shot. Anakin's on a good flank here. Coming in, and we're already seeing just the power of those double modified three dice attacks from these arcs. With the fire convergence from the lat, and uh, just taking a focus token, um, that's uh, so efficient. Four more points than an X Wing, and you get the rear arc, you get the extra health. You have to apply a medium base with one agility, but wow. Um, oh, they're not huge damn cards. <laughs> they just put them in the dice box. Uh, which is working out okay. Um, other than the little bit of shadow. Oh, fun walk. 
Uh, I'm doing okay. I'm having a lot of fun. I have uh, um, Chase is supposed to join me uh, later on, but uh, it's okay. I like hanging out with you guys, to be honest with you. So I am not worried about it at all. Uh, I, I do miss Dion, though. Where's Dion? Uh, is uh, <laughs> yeah, that was a question to myself. Oh man, um, Dion. Uh, Dion is. Uh, has graduation tomorrow and he's working today couldn't come down but uh, we're super excited for him to finish up his master's program and that way he can fixate uh, more on X-Wing get back into uh, sending out those giveaways got a long backlog of giveaways we haven't forgotten people we have not forgotten uh, speaking of uh, people who are important to me uh, that's going to be our sponsors uh, we got District Foundry, Co-op Print Yards, and Curapal Creatives. Uh, but I think you could go exclamation point sponsors. Uh, oh, I didn't spell it right. Sponsors, maybe now. Uh, yeah, uh, you'll see I'm ticking across the bottom of the screen there, uh, utilizing the GSP codes. Uh, for all of your things. So we got District Foundry giveaways coming up. Uh, we're using those big Curl Paul Creative Mega Tokens on the board. Oof, so good. I'm gonna go clear off the dice because uh, they're making me mad. <laughs> uh, oh, sponsor. Thank you, Mr. Rocker, Cracker. Sponsor. Uh, to get the information on all of those guys and then also our patrons if you're not a patron uh, check out patreon.com slash gold squadron podcast find out how you can join the largest group of our supporters and be able to get a bunch of uh, cool swag uh, uh, alt arts uh, including some special bonuses um, and, and uh, what was the other one? Oh, I just... Oh, it was uh, the Galaxies Tournament. Exclamation point. Galaxies! Let's see if... I uh, can get your tickets for about halfway through the season. You gotta wrap it up. Uh, you gotta get your ticket in now. Uh, be able to qualify for the Battle of Alderaan uh, coming up in November. I mean, to uh, just ignore those dice because there's only one more ship before they start attacking and hopefully uh, we'll move them uh, later on uh, let's see yeah boom what boom ask actually uh, more that's not quite how that works Right, well, I missed I missed that thread. Uh, not to, correct, Evil Monkey Lord. Correct. They wanted to go um, a two-day event, spread it out a little bit, so that we don't not compact. We really have a spread out table uh, here. I would say easily six feet apart uh, from table to table. So um, a lot of people utilizing their masks. Um, for those who feel, uh, what do I want to say? Uh, that that it's still um, the right way to protect themselves. So we will see um, all of that and more. Uh, speaking of what we saw there, that was a stop from Bosque, a coordinate from. Uh, I forgot his name. Dace Bonearm. Uh, Anakin just picked up a target lock with the force. And we saw Tell do the red hard two to the right uh, for a stress and a strain. Now, the jump master only doesn't or it does not have any stress clearing maneuvers to the right so we'll have to go forward if it wants to clear that stress maybe could be coordinated the barrel afterwards but man gonna get in a stress loop here 
And I think D a little bit of, of overreaching fell into Chris's uh, trap here. Uh, this is the Proton Torpedo Lock. So that's hit, crit, crit. Uh, one sad dice from the lamp. It's a plank. And... Oh, sorry, this was boss range one. Not the torp. One, one, two, three, four. Going in into war talk. One, two, three, four. And that crit is whole breach. Oh, sure. Alright, that's the proton torpedo. And that. There's going to be a lot of crits. I can't even keep track of them. We'll just call it death. There you go. Blinded was the important one there. All right, so this was the Moldecrow arc here, shooting into the arc. He's debating taking it or not. Ooh, I should have arc colors on there. That is my bad. Well, we'll find out awfully quick which one's which, because uh, one's going to be damaged. And go. We'll put it. We'll put it on the top. There you go. We'll just leave them in order here. I'll try to get some colors on them there for you, but not, not as easy in real life, it turns out. I believe it was coordinated. Veteran Instincts from Galeb. So this is a damage on Bausk. Um, has the Zam double shot uh, ready. We have a fire convergence triggering here for all three. Uh, Boskis the evade is down to five. This is the value of ooh, this is the range one. One more fire convergence here. Hit, hit, crit. Another big evade for Bosk and loses three. I think I heard a fuel leak out there. Fuel leak. Ooh, that could be dangerous, that Greta crew. Uh, but you know what also could be dangerous is the... Uh, There's a bonus attack onto the arc now with Zam's trigger. Natural crits here. Yep, spins the focus. So blocks one, splits it to hit, hit, crit. So shield. <laughs> so shield. Card, face up card. The players got it. This is an exciting time. Um, so this was. So there should be two cards on them there.
I'll be right back. I'm checking on that crit, guys. Ooh, I'm moving those dice out of the way. Exciting round here. Um, Warthog goes down, and Boss, with that double tap, just blasts one of those arcs. I'll be right back. All right, it was a damage sensor array for that limping arc. Damage sensor array, fantastic. I'm just confirming um, the crits here before we move on, including myself. <laughs> and, wow, well, we will uh, whew, see what happens. Catherine, thanks for joining us. <laughs> I don't even have to read the username. I just see the foxes. Uh, we have an electronic baffle at the end phase, which will put him down to one health remaining. Ooh, dead man switch primed. Plus, it's going to allow him to utilize another stop, be coordinated by uh, by Gleb as well um such useful tech um there there you go chaladin brode chaladin i think it's like paladin chaladin bro utilizing that uh twitch subscription through prime if you haven't checked it out check out the link uh if you got amazon prime get twitch gaming did d steal marcel's list he put some twists on it, um, but it turns out uh, Tell's very good. Tell's a tanky 72 points. Um, and with the ability to uh, not die, <laughs> essentially, you can point Fortress the remaining half points. That uh, 36 points on this build, I uh, could really hold on to for a really long time in the end game. And most people just refuse to shoot at it. Uh, because you you give your opponent bad options. Uh, you either want Bo you want to shoot at Bosk, who would love a bonus attack eventually, or at least free locks for now. Or do you want to shoot the ship that you can't actually kill? Tough decisions um, all around. And uh, we see here even Anakin being th uh, threatened by the thermal detonators. Had to take the long way around. Uh, just to be able to start coming into the fight. Um, and honestly, we haven't seen a lot from the Anakin. Uh, the big arcs. Um, both of them having 180. Every ship in this list has a 180 arc. Boss with his primary. Tell with the Ion slash turret. And then uh, Dace with the Moldy Crow and turret as well. So many arcs overlapping that Anakin just could not turn in into the battlefield do you have a link to the list available exclamation point list no but i can give you the link though that link isn't working i can give you check this out that's the one thing i'm still learning too is the uh the quick sort shortcuts I know a lot about streaming, know a lot about X-Wing, but this is normally Dion's job. I do an okay Dion impression. <laughs> I'm, not, uh, I'm not even going to try to say his voice, but I'm glad everybody's here watching uh, once again this round three of the Lone Star Open. Continuing coverage of live, in-person X-Wing play. Can I do this? There you go. Ooh, I got the shadow out of there. The buttons. The buttons. Very cool. Okay. So we have, ooh, that big thermal detonator. Old school thermal detonator. Would you look at that? So 
drops it with the two just to throw an Anakin here. You'd really have to boost crazy uh, to get past it. So really utilizing that area of control effect, preventing him from boosting and whatnots. They're discussing a little bit of how system phase activation works. Oh, I know my whole upgrades. <laughs> Today, anyways. Oh, okay, okay, so bear rolls forward. Utilizing those intuitive controls in the system phase, allowing a purple boost or bear roll. Oh my. Look at this. It's a four forward to get past the stop from Bosk. He sees it coming. Also be able to block Dace so that they cannot coordinate or help out the fight uh, in a meaningful way. We have a hard turn, medium base barrel roll. There you go, you see that the middle line of the base lining up with the end of the template makes it look a little goofy at the front, but that's middle of the base, end of the template. Oh, uh, take it back. That's the damage sensor away one. Nope, never mind. It was the other one. I was going to say, it was definitely the one in front that's all banged up. There it goes. They're figuring it out. Uh, ooh, they want the hard three from Bounce Fish. I mean, it would be the maneuver I would choose. You either have to go left or right, start swinging around, and actually start figuring out. You can't just keep stopping. They'll figure it out. This is a bump. For sure. Oh, <laughs> uh, you guys get here, but the players are having a lot of fun. Uh, which is what it's all about, to be honest with you. I had to take the model off. Pop the model off. That's, uh, these are all the funny things that we have to get used to. Alright, Bosk does a hard two. I think it's to make sure that he gets the uh, stress. Uh, Ms. Tick. That's a good question, actually. I assume he did it three forward. That's why he used the four, because the three, and then the final position being the fourth space on that template. But. Uh, I trust I trust these guys, so I'm not I'm not going to question too much of what they're doing. So we have a hard two there, um, able to get out of the way. From any blocks, has that electronic baffle, so can shoot and just say whatever. And uh, if, yeah, if you don't shoot it, toe. I'm gonna, excuse me. If you don't shoot at me, I'm just gonna blow up anyways. Okay, just letting a judge know that uh, I caught a player doing something illegal, which is a white rotate action. Uh, jump master. <laughs> so there. <laughs> I don't know what they're figuring out, but you, you can't do that action. He does not have illegal white rotate. So it has to 
uh, rotate, or has to lock, then rotate, or do something at penalty point. I agree. No, see, he doesn't want to focus. He doesn't want to stress himself, though, because he won't be able to get back into the fight. It was an eyeball. That's just a strain. Nobody's shooting at him. No, just out there. I don't know what that chat dice was about, but it's it's all in good fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was screaming, what's the link? Oh, man. That's not a good die. I mean, he asked his opponent if he could use it, so... Like I said, uh, I got these guys on because I knew that they were going to have fun on stream, uh, which is uh, a stark contrast to uh, our last... Oops. There we go. <laughs> All right, it looks like we have a. That must have been a range one, range one ion cannon. Then receives a single damage and an ion. We get that load in here. I'm not looking. Yep, so splits here. All three shields dropped on uh, the other arc. One, two, three. Shields gone. Uh. D lose it at two. Has a single die roll here at range two. So it takes one more damage on that rear arc. I know I don't have them colored, but I'm I'm keeping track of them via the side of the table Chris has on. They know which one's which. Uh, one hit here from a rear attack. Evaded! So he uh, is going to shoot at Bosk here. There it is. Bosk dies. That's a... Dead man switch, which is going to hurt uh, the arc. It so. And boss is gone. <laughs> Sad lizard noise. Oh, that's a wookie. Whoops. Transitions are hard to imitate. They are like they're like kind of sound like snakes. All right, so that was Zam triggers, and then baffles, ions. So this just didn't end up matter because he's doing a blue maneuver anyways. I uh, got strain and on Obi Wan, or excuse me, on Anakin. Yep, dead man hit. Uh, tell for one. I could take this dice game off now. Uh, hit tell for one and hit the rear arc. There, uh, so the arcs are uh, four and four. Uh, the lead one out there with the critical token has uh, the damage sensor, right? Uh, could self bump here, but the the thermal drop from Dace is going to hit you. Do you care about that? I'm not sure. I mean, do you just YOLO the 4K? It's only got so many thermals. Uh, 
Oh, good point, uh, Smaller. If the arc self bumps, those thermals could land on himself. So that's going to be a hard decision to uh, to make. Um, Blendon, I do not know if you did that or not, but that's a main trigger. So that's up to them. Uh, we did see it used a long time ago, so I will take it out of the overlay. I don't know if he's looking at his cards. Ooh, he's going for the bounce. All students, minor codes, and we're down to one thermal detonator. I don't know if we're even showing charges right now, but one thermal detonator. All right, getting reckless now. Dropping the bounce. Didn't think the arc would self bump. What is this boost? Is he gonna boost 4K? I can't tell what's going on here. Oh, he failed the boost. So let me see what the arcs do here. Yeah, pretty casual. Pretty casual. He's coming in focus. This dude is... Oh, he does do the self-bump. Excellent play here um, by Chris. Uh, forcing the bump from base. And we have... as uh, That boost did fail, yes. Um, we have Tell doing the three sloop. Again, why uh, Tell did not want to... Uh, rotate. Wow, okay. And this is a lock. Or that is a tell lock on Anakin. And Anakin was trying to get out of there. And now I think he's sitting range three. Oh, he did do the 4K. Oh, no. Okay, he's out of the thermal, though. So, two on to Deuce. Has a shield. And the arc. Uh, Jeff, you're thinking of the Aether Sprite Anakin ability. Not uh, the Ada. So that is a damage card going on to Dace from those thermals. Hit, hit him twice. All right, right. So to be fair, it's crit then hit, so not good. What's Anakin's ability? Oh my god. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Who is a primary? Dodges one, and that's the end of days. Chill that out. <laughs> uh, let's not use uh, that version of Dace Bonar. All right, let's do this twerp. Hmm, it looks like this is going to be obstructed ion cannon for Woof. Woof. D is disappointed by that. What a turn of events. 
Man, those arcs just so good. Uh, they, they're tanky. They're one of the few three dice. There are, I'll say that they're the cheapest three dice you could bring in the Republic faction. Yeah, a lot of talk about um, those thermals that uh, I had mentioned it before. We, I think someone mentioned in chat as well, just the ability to self-block that arc um, as an option instead of K turning it behind, um, uh, uh, just forcing Tell to be bumped there. No action, no boost, no nothing like that. <laughs> Um, so this is Brandon S101. Thanks uh, for joining us. Um, stepping into chat for the first time. Uh, says I'm um, new to this game, but uh, Chris has a nice lead. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Uh, currently, uh, D only has 96 points. He got that from having uh, the arc. They originally have nine hull. So now with four hole for remaining, they only uh, they gave up both their half points. So it's 42. Got 54 from the uh, Warthog lap. Um, but Chris on the other side has taken all of Dave's bone arm, 52 points, and all of Bosk, 75. And then now has to uh, kill Tel Tavera twice uh, to score all of his points and finish the game. Um, before time. Uh, these arcs K turns here. Anakin trying to clear stress. Oops, my dice cam is turned off. There you go. Oh, look at that lock. This is a torp. Oh my god. Triple of aid takes the one. Get <laughs> Ooh. oh, that is gross. I didn't see the crit. Am I am I here? <laughs> oh, whole breach. Thank you, thank you, smaller. Uh, I by. Head was literally in my hands uh, after seeing that daddy. Uh, the one last claw back that D had here just ripped out from underneath the bone with some nattis. Just dodge. Easy. <laughs> yeah, I'll already be putting some, uh, some nattis in the chat. Super excited to see. Well, we'll just do this instead. I can't find it. There you go. <laughs> Ghost dice. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, Chris Allen threw down the get good. Just natty. Uh, just natty. No big deal. Uh, so they have a bit of a points extension here. I mean, with that torp down... I don't know if he could... I don't know if he can come back from the he was he's gonna have to start one hitting these guys, but with that ion cannon he just can't do the eight damage to the one of force. Uh, so I think his win condition is kill Anakin, who is not gonna be sticking around. Game is over when Tell is taken off. What? When there are no ships on the board, you lose when none are left. Uh, but there's ships in reserve, which is definitely different, um, which could happen. I'm trying to think of another situation, uh, like it's the resistance, ship goes into reserve, um, but it's not in reserve for very long. One point and Anakin ties. Oh no. 31 points. Oh man. 
one damage. We go to Dredge if we could get a final salvo. I don't, I'm rooting for final salvo now. I don't care who wins. I want to see a final salvo. Yeah, I mean, I will agree uh, that there's not, there's never a situation where there'd be no ships on the board for the whole round. Because I'm thinking of like, even if you had like Morallo and Tell, they would still both come back in their planning phase. So at the end of the round, there, you wouldn't have any ships on the board, but in planning phase, you would. Let's check these dice here. This is an ion cannon for one easy dodge with the long range. Chris Allen doing a beautiful self bump there to keep at long distance. <laughs> All right. Uh, we will see. Planning is after round ends. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. We'll double check the rules. I'm sure DU knows a lot more about this than me. Uh, I can only talk from my experience. So it looks like this arc setting up a nice block. The other arc giving a K turn here. Rocker Cracker throwing down the game quotes about removed from the game, not removed from the board. Perfect. Always crazy interactions. Uh, I. I do not think so. I see it sitting out there still. I know. I want the final salvo. Hmm. I didn't see that just roll. Uh, there you go. Strain, strain was removed from the gas clown, so shield goes away. One shield remaining on tell. I mean, I'm counting D out on this one, but there is a win condition. I mean, someone mentioned it before. Uh, tells two on. Tells uh, two <laughs> primary uh, versus the arcs and uh, the three dice from Anakin is not very much. So he's got to get the full kill here. And more in Joe. <laughs> uh, oh, really? What was our bed in that? People talking about payouts. Oh, wow. Uh, 409,000 uh, in the pot uh, with 71% of the bets going to scum, but not that Bosque. So it turns away here. Okay. 
Okay, two dice in the turret. Blanks on... So two more on the arc that, uh, I guess he fixed his crit, so on the bottom arc. Uh, Reroll for nothing there. Two more damage on tail, getting closer and closer to half. Rear arc attack, rear roll for two, and another damage coming in. Knockout drag out brawl here. Uh, but really, like I said, that's showing the. <laughs> showing the strength of the arc chassis, its resilience. It's able to keep time on target with the rear arc, three deaths at the front. Those double modifieds from Warthog, uh, super beneficial early on to push that damage into bots. Took him off the board real early. We got 4K uh, to flip around and pursue Tell and a hard turn focus uh, from the other arc, the hurt one. Darth Chungus recommending uh, a Beard Hegwood GSP emote. Can I just claim an emote? <laughs> Uh Oh, I mean blasted. To be fair, blasted was <laughs> was what I told Dion to make. Uh cuz I I love uh it's it's always sunny, so and it just comes up so off, often, especially when people are choosing violence. Yes, yeah, come and blast him. All right, Anakin coming around. Um, I mean, I'm choosing people on like the top 10 tables at least. I'm looking for people with winning records. Um, I don't know if Farmer's one of those people or not, <laughs> to be fair. I'll check it and see, I'll check it and see. All right, so nobody in range here and we're continuing to set dials. That's some shade of farmer. Hey, all right. I saw the I saw the player board. So he was not at the top last round. So maybe he came back. You know. Hey, man. Good to uh, good to see him. Did you roll the dice? Did you? Alright, that was super important because that arc uh, was hurt, so like a crit into direct could have killed him. <laughs> but he's just fine. But now the ion, or uh, the, the two dice turret could do it. Uh, he's got to take a focus rotate if he wants it. There it is. Dice cam. I am the real Dion. Alright, the arc finally goes down.
All right. Uh, isn't D's hair blonde too? Uh, they both got a little bit of blonde in them. Uh, can we vote on about having Farmer on stream? I mean, hey, there's some people out here that I would like to see on stream as well, beyond uh, these well-known people. We've just been having some well-known players on stream just because uh, I get to choose. We had Mike on stream, which I do know Mike. Mike Jones is a great guy. We had him on stream round one. I uh, wasn't, uh, I think I met Kyle before. I may be mistaken. I met a lot of people. Um, Kyle was a great opponent in the first game, pulled off the win against the only first order in the tournament. I uh, had those, the two, the heavyweight bout <laughs> of Duncan Howard versus Paul Huber. And uh, we have these, it was very, is, uh, what do I want to say? Switching from the ultra competitive mode of Duncan v. Uh, Paul to this laugh factory we got over here uh, between D and Chris just having a blast. Uh, forgetting the rules. <laughs> having fun. So let's see here. He's going to keep the stress. How did you get Duncan to agree to stream? I literally just looked at his opponent and was like, come on, you're not going to give me this one? You're not going to give me Doka versus Paul Huber? Come on. So, should be just fine. Uh, I'm excited we got it on stream. All right, Anakin can't pull it off. I mean, I don't know if the Republic... At least what I was telling about Tell, that like, it's so hard to get Tell's damage in the end game here. A bunch of things that don't matter, apparently. One damage onto the arc. You see he's shooting Ion. They're taking out some Ion tokens here. Ooh, he did get fully ionized. Nice. Four dice range one. Uh, hit crit coming in. Wounded. Uh, uh, hold, hold on. After after asking, <laughs> do they have to continue? Uh, I told them, do you cannot actually win this game anymore. So, after Toga I have, it was all over. All over. So, uh, Chris Allen pulls it off. Oh, and that's going to be a big payout. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, for watching the video later. Click that like. Click the bell. Get the notifications all the things. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.